Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now the very end of September of 2022 and with Andor episodes 1 through 4 now out on Disney Plus, a lot of Star Wars fans are really getting prepared for what John, George, and Dave have in store for the new Star Wars universe and exactly what kind of shows and tricks they have up their sleeve to really introduce to the fans starting in 2023. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing about the new Star Wars TV shows that are about to be announced at Celebration next year and a lot of the other shows that are on the horizon are really all being put together by Favreau and Filoni. Now, we already know that there have been a couple of mishaps before in the past, you know, the Kenobi series and Boba Fett, due to, of course, Kathleen Kennedy pretty much, you know, sabotaging those shows to a degree. You know, obviously a lot of fans had a lot of criticism over those two shows and for a lot of valid reasons out there. But now moving forward to where we are now, looking at Andor, it really seems to be a mixed bag when it comes to how fans are reacting to the show. I'm seeing a lot of people that are saying that they're very excited about the series. Other people are saying that they're very bored and feel that the show is very slow. I would like to hear your opinions on that, by the way, because I'm very interested to see the ratio of fans on that show. But when we actually go ahead and tap into what Favreau and Filoni have been doing before in the past, and currently, there's been a lot of on and off projects and a lot of things happening behind the scenes between, of course, John and Dave. And recently, what John and Dave had to say about a specific Star Wars show that was canceled may actually raise an eyebrow for a lot of fans out there. So, with that being said, with Disney and Lucasfilm now focused on their new Star Wars shows that are set to revive Legends lore for the franchise, both Favreau and Filoni have been very busy creating new stories for the fans. Now, it's described, however, that recently Favreau and Filoni were able to put things straight with the fans about canceling a specific Star Wars series that was very difficult because of Kathleen Kennedy. Now, Favreau went on to state the following to the fans, saying, It was hard, probably one of the most difficult situations I was in during my time in the film industry. To answer your question, yes, we had to cancel Rangers of the New Republic for several reasons, one of which had a lot to do with Gina Carano's termination at the time. This was like in the beginning of last year. It only complicated things for such as us as creators, because we had big plans for her character in the series, to interact with those like Luke and Leia. When Kathy had to let her go, it just ripped the story apart. Now, Filoni then stepped in to tell fans the following. It was such an honor to work on a show script like this, but we had to focus on what was right for us. We couldn't really set our eyes on a proper vision after Kathy and those at Disney were giving us budgeting restraints, which was only making us as creators very picky on what we wanted to do or what we could afford to do with special effects and such. So I want to pause here real quickly for one second about what John and Dave are saying about Rangers of the New Republic. Now, Favreau actually touched on this a little bit a couple of weeks ago about canceling Rangers and why. And there were a lot of different reasons as to why this show met its demise. Because, you know, a lot of it had to do with Gina, like Favreau says here, and Filoni pointing out that there were budgeting restraints. Now, keep in mind that this is when Kathy Kennedy still had a lot of creative power and a lot of control over the budgeting of these Star Wars shows at the time. And Rangers was probably going to be one of the biggest Star Wars shows to date, maybe even bigger than The Mandalorian, because it was basically going to be a direct sequel to Return of the Jedi. Basically, it was going to take place one day after the events of the Battle of Endor, leading up to one whole year after the Battle of Endor, and eventually phasing into the Battle of Jakku. It was really going to focus on that whole time period of the franchise, basically showing us the true fall of the Empire. Because I don't know if you guys know about the lore, but the Battle of Endor technically was not the end of the Empire. They kind of survived and scattered across the galaxy and created factions. And the Battle of Jakku is when the Empire really met its defeat. It, that's like the big battle that has yet to have been explored 
in live action. So far, it has only been explored in the Battlefront video games, and that's about it. Or the books, too, like the Aftermath novels. So, moving on from all of this, all right, Favreau and Filoni pointing it out that it was not just because of Gina Carano, it was also because of budgeting restraints. But Gina Carano's Cara Dune was going to be a main character that would interact with those like Luke and Leia and, of course, the Rebellion. It was going to be a very big story. And to say the least, this, I think, would have been a very successful show because they wanted to really up the budget and really make it very cinematic looking, almost as cinematic as, let's say, Andor and or Rogue One. They really wanted to make it look movie-like. Now, moving on to the next thing here, it's what's even all the more interesting is that Filoni goes on to say this sort of threw out the idea of including Luke in the story because of budgeting restraints with the de-aging tech at the time, it was, as it was very expensive and only our option. But we are taking many pieces of this great story and we will be reusing them in various other shows that we are very excited about for the fans to see. I think in the end it will all work out for us and for the fans as well. I honestly cannot wait for everyone and everything to go in motion and the stories of Luke and Rangers will be applied to other shows. So Filoni making it clear that budgeting restraints really did a number on not including Luke Skywalker in the Rangers series and at that point they felt it wasn't really necessary to move ahead with this project. Now I don't know about you, but I think that Rangers, given that it was specifically meant to be a sequel to, like a direct sequel by the way, to episode 6, you needed Luke Skywalker in there. You needed to see, you know, what was going on with his life right after the Battle of Endor. As well as the lives of the Rebellion, Leia, and such. And that's what they wanted to really explore, and budgeting restraints only caused a lot of problems. It wasn't just Gina Carano's termination. So, I'm very actually excited over the fact that they will be basically taking bits and pieces of the show and throwing them into other shows. It kind of reminds me when you have people, you know, buying out companies and then, you know, uh, selling portions of those companies and kind of just spreading things out. They're kind of doing that. It might be a bit of an odd analogy there, but they're kind of doing that with this Star Wars show by basically taking pieces of those stories out and putting them into other shows. And I think it's gonna work, I really do. I think it's gonna be something very special. For example, we were supposed to get the Battle of Jakku in Rangers. We could very well now see the Battle of Jakku, for example, in the form of a flashback in one of the upcoming shows, which by the way, there have been a lot of developments on a Battle of Jakku sequence in a mystery Star Wars series, but we're not quite sure if that's a flashback or if it's meant to be in present time at a new Star Wars show. We're not quite sure about that just yet. So there's a lot of things happening behind the scenes between John and Dave, and I would love to hear what you guys have to say about everything related to Rangers of the New Republic. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.